All right, here's a new tutorial on um, atomic pulls. It's a much better method than the old one. Um, Kudos to GR5. Um, basically, get the uh, cut a bit of filament off, sharpen the point like normal, turn the machine on, and then um, go to advanced settings, uh, maintenance, advanced, and then heat up the nozzle rather than to 260 like I normally do. Just do it to 190. Da, 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 da. And then let it heat up to 190. Alright, I'll be back at 190. Alright, we're at 190. So basically, take your filament. I take some pliers to get a better grip. And anyway, put it inside the hole. It doesn't matter, you don't need to straighten it. I haven't. And then kind of look with your eye to make sure it goes into the hole. I can see it's in there now. And then just force it in a little bit. Just enough so it goes. You can see it coming out the end. You can see the stuff coming out the end there. Okay, now stop. Dial it down to 190, or I mean to 90. So we're at 90 here. I'm just going to keep pushing it for a little bit. And I can see it's still going, it's still going, it's still going. And now it's kind of slowly ground to a halt. And we're on 170. 174. I'm just going to keep slowly pushing. Alright, I'm going to stop now. I'm just going to take this excess out. And then we're on 153 now. I'm going to come back where, where, when, we're, when the temperature here is at 90. Alright, we're at 90 now. Um, what I'm probably going to do actually is clean the nozzle, but I'll do that later. For now, I'll just give it a pull. And there you have a perfect um, nozzle, atomic nozzle thing, atomic pull. That's pretty much perfect every time, so uh, if you do it like that, then um, you can't go wrong really. So remember that, 190, cool down to 90, and then give it a nice pull. Alright, thanks, that's it.